Ever wondered how to live off dividends? This might seem like a dream, but it's more attainable than you think. Welcome to the exciting world of dividend investing, a financial strategy that can generate a steady flow of income and potentially enable you to live off your investments. This method involves buying stocks and companies that regularly pay out a portion of their profits to shareholders, known as dividends. The appeal of this approach is clear. You're essentially getting paid to own a piece of a company. But it's not just about the income. Dividend investing also offers the opportunity for your wealth to grow over time as companies increase their dividend payouts and as you reinvest those dividends back into more shares. In this video, we'll provide a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to make this dream a reality, from understanding dividends to building a portfolio that can sustain you financially. So, are you ready to turn your dream into reality? Let's dive right in. Before we get started, it's essential to understand what dividends are. Think of dividends as a slice of the company's profit pie, given to shareholders as a token of appreciation for their investment. It's a way for companies to distribute a portion of their earnings back to the people who believe in them. Now, not all companies offer dividends. Some prefer to reinvest all their profits back into the business to fuel growth and expansion. These are often younger, growth-oriented companies that need every penny to scale up. But mature, well-established companies that generate consistent profits usually pay dividends. They don't need to reinvest all their earnings, so they share a part of it with their shareholders. There's a rhythm to these payments, too. Dividends are usually paid out on a set schedule, often quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. The company's board of directors decides the amount and the payment frequency. But here's a quick heads up. Just because a company pays dividends doesn't mean it's a great investment. While dividends can be a sign of a company's financial health, they're not the only factor to consider. You should also look at the company's overall financial performance and market position. It's also important to note that dividends are not guaranteed. If the company hits a rough patch, it may reduce or even eliminate its dividend payments. That's why it's crucial to have a diversified portfolio and not rely solely on dividend income. So how do you get these dividends? Well, once the company declares a dividend, you need to be a shareholder on the record date to receive it. The dividend is then paid into your brokerage account, typically as cash, although some companies offer the option to reinvest it in more shares. And that's the basics of dividends. They're a way for companies to share their success with their investors, but they also require careful consideration and management. Now that you understand dividends, let's move on to the next step. The next step towards living off dividends is building a dividend portfolio. So, what does that mean? Well, it's like constructing a house where each brick represents a different dividend-paying stock. The key to a sturdy house, or in our case, a robust portfolio, is diversification. Diversification is not just about owning a lot of stocks. It's about owning the right mix of stocks from different sectors. This way, even if one sector takes a nosedive, your portfolio isn't entirely exposed. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket. Now let's talk about choosing these dividend-paying stocks, the bricks of our portfolio. There are several factors to consider, and it's crucial to get it right. One of these factors is the dividend yield. This percentage tells you how much a company pays out in dividends each year relative to its stock price. A high dividend yield can be attractive, but it's not the only thing to look at. Next, we have the payout ratio. This is the proportion of earnings a company pays shareholders in dividends. If a payout ratio is too high, it could mean the company isn't reinvesting enough back into its business. On the other hand, a low payout ratio could indicate a company that's growing and can afford to increase dividends in the future. Lastly, consider the company's track record of dividend payments. A company with a history of consistent and growing dividends is a good sign. It shows the company's commitment to returning profits to shareholders. Remember, building a portfolio is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, research, and patience to choose the right mix of stocks. And remember, it's not just about the highest yield or the lowest payout ratio. It's about a balance that suits your financial goals and risk tolerance. With a diversified portfolio of dividend stocks, you're well on your way to living off dividends. So roll up your sleeves and let's get to work. The journey to living off dividends starts with the first stock you add to your portfolio. Scene Script. Reinvesting dividends is a powerful strategy that can accelerate your journey to living off dividends. Now let's unpack this a bit. When you receive dividends from a company you've invested in, you have two primary choices. 
You could take the cash and spend it or you could reinvest it back into the company. Imagine you're on a snow-covered hill with a small snowball in your hand. You could choose to keep the snowball as it is, or you could roll it down the hill. As it descends, it gathers more snow and becomes larger. This is essentially the concept of dividend reinvestment. When you reinvest your dividends, you're buying more shares of the company. As you acquire more shares, you have a larger stake in the company and hence, you're entitled to a larger share of the profits. This in turn means more dividends. This cycle of reinvesting dividends to earn more dividends is what we call compound growth. Now let's talk numbers. Say you invest $1,000 in a company that pays a 4% annual dividend. At the end of the first year, you receive $40 in dividends. If you reinvest those dividends, your investment value increases to $1,040. The next year, your dividends are calculated on this increased amount, which means you receive $41.60. This might not seem like much of an increase, but remember our snowball? It keeps growing. Now imagine this process over 20, 30, or even 40 years. Your initial investment could multiply several times over, all thanks to the power of compound growth through dividend reinvestment. This strategy isn't about getting rich quick, it's about long-term growth. It's about patience and discipline. It's about understanding the power of dividends and using them to your advantage. By reinvesting dividends, you're not just earning money, you're making your money work harder for you. As the saying goes, the best way to make money is to let your money make money. And reinvesting dividends is a prime example of just that. Once you've set up your dividend portfolio, it's crucial to monitor your dividend income. Monitoring your income is just as important as building your portfolio because it allows you to assess your progress and make necessary adjustments. Start by tracking your dividend income. There are several ways to do this. Some investors prefer using a simple spreadsheet, while others opt for more advanced financial software. Whatever method you choose, make sure it allows you to record the essential details such as the dividend amount, payment date, and the paying company. Assessing the performance of your dividend stocks is another critical aspect of monitoring your income. Look out for red flags such as a significant drop in a company's dividends, a decreasing market value, or a company consistently missing its earnings estimates. These could be indicators that it's time to reconsider your investment in that particular stock. Furthermore, pay attention to the dividend yield, which is the annual dividend payment divided by the market value of the stock. A high yield might be attractive, but it's not always a sign of a good investment. Sometimes a high yield can be a result of a falling stock price, which might indicate problems within the company. On the other hand, don't be too quick to dismiss a stock with a lower yield. These companies might be reinvesting their profits back into the business, which could lead to higher stock prices and increased dividends in the future. Finally, remember to adjust your portfolio as needed. The world of investing is dynamic and constantly changing. A company that was a great dividend payer yesterday might not be today. Therefore, it's crucial to stay informed and make changes when necessary to maintain a steady flow of income. This could mean selling stocks that are underperforming or no longer align with your investment strategy. Or it might involve buying new stocks that offer better dividend prospects. Remember, living off dividends isn't a set it and forget it strategy, it requires ongoing attention and management. So, keep an eye on your dividend income and don't be afraid to make adjustments when necessary. Your future financial health depends on it. Living off dividends isn't just a dream, it's a realistic goal that you can achieve with the right approach. So let's recap the steps to getting there. First, you need to understand what dividends are. They're payments made by a corporation to its shareholders, usually in the form of cash or additional shares. Next, you'll need to build a dividend portfolio. This involves choosing a mix of stable, dividend-paying stocks that align with your financial goals. The third step is to reinvest your dividends. By plowing these earnings back into your portfolio, you're effectively compounding your income, allowing your wealth to grow exponentially over time. Finally, you'll need to keep a close eye on your dividend income. This means regularly checking in on your investments, making necessary adjustments, and ensuring your portfolio continues to serve your financial objectives. So, are you ready to start your journey to living off dividends? The road might be long, but the rewards are well worth it.